Oh, this is Catholic prophecies for you. Describing today the prophecies uh, taken from the reign of the Antichrist, which you can obtain uh, from Amazon.com or uh, uh, Booksandmen.com or uh, TannerBooks.com. Uh, the reign of the Antichrist by Reverend R. Gerald Carlton. Today we're going to be covering the prophecies of the uh, Antichrist, uh, as uh, given by the Virgin Mary and a number of other sources. Um, first, we start with nature from the Virgin Mary. The nature is asking for vengeance because of man, and she trembles with dread at what must happen to the earth, stained with crime. Tremble, earth, and you who proclaim yourselves as serving Jesus Christ, and who on the inside only adore yourselves. Tremble for God will hand you over to his enemy, because the holy places are in a state of corruption. Many comets are no longer houses of God, but the grazing grounds of Asmodeus and its like. It will be during this time that the Antichrist will be born of a Hebrew nun, a false virgin, who will communicate with the old serpent, the master of impurity. His father will be a Catholic bishop. At birth he will spew out blasphemy, he will have teeth. In a word, he will be a devil incarnate. He will have brothers who, although not demons, incarnate like him, will be children of evil. At the age of twelve, they will draw attention upon themselves by gallant victories they have won. Soon they will each lead armies aided by legions of hell. Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. The demons of the air together with the Antichrist will perform great wonders on earth and in the atmosphere and men will become more and more perverted. God will take care of his faithful servants and men of good will. The gospel will be preached everywhere and all people of all nations will get to know the truth. Now is the time the abyss is opening. Here is the king of kings of darkness. Here is the beast with his subjects, calling himself the savior of the world. He will proudly rise into the air to go to heaven. He will be smothered by the breath of, of the archangel St. Michael. He will fall on and the earth, which will have been in continuous series of evolutions for three days, will open up its fiery bowel and will have plunged for eternity with all its followers into the everlasting castles of hell. And then water and fire will purge the earth and consume all the works of men and pride, and all will be renewed. God will be served and glorified. Those prophecies taken from the Lost of the Prophecies of 1846. St. Belitus, who died in the year 235, states the following. In naming the tribe of Dan, he declared it cleanly, clearly. The tribe from which Antichrist is destined to spring, for as Christ springs from the tribe of Judah, so Antichrist is the spring from the tribe of Dan. For the deceiver seeks to liken himself in all things to the Son of God. For being full of guile and exalting himself against the servants of God, with a wish to afflict them, and persecute them out of the world, because they give not glory to him. He will render, he will order incense pans to be set up by all everywhere, that no man among the saints may be able to buy or sell without first sacrificing. And he, being puffed up with pride by their subserviency, will begin to dispatch missives against the saints, commanding to cut them off, all off, everywhere, on the ground of the refusal to reverence and worship him as God. And by reason of the scarcity of food, all will go to him and worship him, and he will put his mark on the right hand or the forehead, that no one may put the sign of the honorable cross upon his forehead with his right hand, but that his hand is bound. And in him, in him there is no repentance, but such a a one is lost at once to God and to men, and the deceiver will give them scanty food by reason of his abominable seal. 
and his seal upon the forehead, and upon the right hand is number six hundred three score and six. Then he will send the cohorts of the demons among the mountains and the caves and dens of the earth and track out out those who have been concealed from his eyes and bring them forward to worship him and those who yield to him. He will send, he will seal with a seal. But those who refuse to submit, he will consume with incompatible, inc incomparable pains and bitter torments and machinations such as never been nor ever have reached the ear of man nor have been seen by the eyes of mortals. In the streets and in the houses there shall be the dead. In the streets and in the houses there shall be hunger and thirst. In the streets and in the houses there shall be tumults and in the houses lamentations and beauty of kindness shall be with withered for their form shall be like those of the dead. The beauty of women shall fade and the desires of all men shall vanish. These again taken from The Reign of the Antichrist by Reverend General Colton, published by www.tambooks.com, copyright 1951. Again, these are the prophecies taken of the Antichrist, part one. Thank you very much.